Vicious, how you what up, doing? What up? What's good? What's going on? Here, and I'm here with little Vicious. How you doing, love? Oh, man, I feel good, man. We here in Barclay Center. Mm -hmm. Me and my man Doug Fresh just went in. If you don't know who I am, I go by the name of Little Vicious. Some y'all are freak. Some y'all are freak how the week. Hey, you know, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, how you doing, love? I'm all right. How you doing today, love? I'm doing good. So what brings you out here? Oh, man, the 30th anniversary for Yo! MTV Raps. That's right. Just the legendary status of it all. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I be here? If people don't know about MTV Raps, you youngins got to go back do your homework. YouTube, some old clips, yeah. some old MTV, yeah. and just see what MTV rap is about. And you'll see why this is so monumental right here. So I had to come and just be a fan. I'm not on the bill or nothing. I had to just come and witness some history and see some groups I never saw before. Speaking of which, what's uh, your memorable moment of uh, uh, your MTV rap? Um, I probably would say when Biggie got on there. You know what I mean? Because when Big got on, you know, that was a sign yeah. to us that, you know, we he made it somewhere. That's you know, right. somewhere. And I, and I think MTV was over by the time Junior Mafia came out, which is a year later. But Big had a chance to get up there with Ed Lover and uh, and Dre. So, you know, that was probably the, the monument, the moment to be there and see how the setup was uh -huh. and the background. Just to see this, like, this is where all the rappers yeah. had been. You know what I mean? So that was definitely uh, an experience for me. My most memorable moment is 1993 when I first signed my deal with Sony Music. You know, big up to everybody at Sony. You know, when I first came on, I was promoting my song, Freaks, Dr. Dre, Ed Lover. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been signed with Sony from, like I said, 93. So I think that's my most memorable moment, just being on there as a reggae artist and being able to showcase what I do for the world. Oh, I think it had to be when Rakim came up there and he did an in-studio performance of I ain't no joke. Was it I ain't no joke? I think so. Uh, 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 well, we'll yeah, it might have. It might have been. Okay. All right, don't quote me on that one. Okay. But just when they, him and Eric B and Rock came, yeah, yeah. I remember Eric B and Rock came, came. That was the greatest because he had that let the rhythm hit him at the time or one of them. Oh, forget about it. It was crazy. Oh, there we go. What uh, motivates you? What motivates me is just being able to do what I love and take care of my family, you know. I met Dougie when I was nine years old. I got signed to Sony when I was 13 years old. I'm one of the youngest, I'm before the Bow Wows and, you know, like, so that's what motivates me, just being able to take care of my family and be out here on the road after so long and people still sing to my song. You know, French Montana and Nicki Minaj did Freaks Over, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm just happy that people still rock with my music after so long and I'm still here, I'm healthy, I'm rocking. People still love me. I'm still repping Brooklyn till I die. Brooklyn, what up? Stand up for this boy. <laughs> hip hop, what motivates you? What motivates me for hip hop? Yeah. Um, or in general? I mean, just the, the culture, you know, just what it brings. You know what I mean? This, this culture brought a lot of black urban kids together that didn't have to have a diploma. That didn't have to, no matter if you had a jail record or not. You can come in this game if you got pure talent and you can make you millions of dollars and feed your family and help take some of your, your guys off the block and, and out the hood. So that's what hip hop generated for people like us. That's why we celebrate it so much. That's why we put so much effort into it because it saved a lot of lives. This is something that we call ours. Hip hop ain't nobody else's. It's the, it's the culture of us, you know what I mean? So that's what I love about hip hop. It, it, it brings people together from all walks of life, all different neighborhoods and countries and we all emerged and we all got this one thing in common. Oh, wow, man. Because I've, I've listened to your song growing up. I ain't even going to lie. I've... I mean, you can't mention reggae music without mentioning Lil Vicious, man. I bridged the gap between hip-hop and reggae music. Yeah. When I came out, it was only me, Shaba, and Patrick that was doing it on a mainstream level. So, you know what I mean? I'm just happy that I'm still here and I'm still rocking out. I'm doing this for the culture. What motivates me is just the breath in my lungs. Really, I know it's cliche, but it's the truth. Every morning, God allow me to get up, because I ain't in competition with nobody but myself. That's all we need to know. You know, that's that's how we overcome everything. Just look at ourselves in the mirror, face our fears, mm -hmm. and we'll be all right. So that that's it for me. I just, you know, just be thankful for waking up in the morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. One song on your plate. I took the top off the Maybach. I took the top off. I listen to I took the top off the Maybach. Jay-Z, man, I'm Brooklyn till I die, man. Like I said, man, you know, I met Doug out here in Brooklyn. Brooklyn made me who I am. So when I'm scrolling through my playlist, I'm listening to Biggie. I'm listening to Pac. Like, I'm one of the only artists that actually did a song with Big and Pac. You know, when I first started, Tupac came to my house to come get me to do a song with him. He was still actually shooting the, um, the movie Juice. Wow. He still had the scar on his face. I didn't even know him. The record company sent him to get me. So 
It's Brooklyn, man. So the So I know you got a you got a new song coming out, a new single coming out. Yeah, What's I got, that? I got a single coming out called Winners, featuring me and Jada Kiss and an artist named Dice Payne. Okay. He's an artist that signed the D Block. Okay. That's gonna be my first single off this project I got coming out called The Heart of the City. Hey, that's yeah. what's up. We got a music video coming up soon. My dog right? Jada Kiss. Yeah, we're gonna have a video for it and everything. We lowing up, you know what I mean? It's a comfortable, uh, it's a comfortable era of music is coming back where it's, uh, it's a very balanced game. You get to get a little bit of everything, and a little bit of everything is emerging. The, the, the mumble rap, real hip hop, lyrics, the gangster music, girl music. It's kind of like it's really balancing itself right now. So, this is a good time to drop some real good classic raw dog hip hop music. So, that's what I got coming up. Right now, I'm working on a show myself with my brother uh, Ruben. He in there somewhere mm. called City Inside the City. Okay. So, look out for that. It's a series, you know, like kind of crime saga drama type. And then uh, got a podcast coming. Mm. Working on the title right now, so stay tuned for that. Okay. I'll let you know on all my media, um, uh, social media sites, uh, at Hassan Johnson on Twitter. And if on Instagram, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people search for Hassan Johnson. You got hashtag, but it's H-I-N-I-K-O-J. Thank you. Absolutely. So thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you so much, love. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And it's the Real Deal, Real Rose.